Well, the Reedy River Duck Derby is an event that families across the Carolinas look forward to every year. And this year, you can still buy the ducks and support charities, but the ducks will race online. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is in Greenville to explain. Yeah, talking about the Duck Derby you're all familiar with. It typically happens, though, in May. We have the head duck with us this morning, Ed Eric. We are talking about the Duck Derby still going on, maybe just online this year, not quite in person. We know many families looking forward to just kind of being around Falls Park out there with thousands and thousands of ducks. We've got some of them that decided to show up this morning. I'm so glad um, because this is still important. You still want people to adopt a duck. Why Absolutely. should they do that? Why is it so important? Well, it's important because the money that, uh, that is generated by the Duck Derby goes right back here into the local uh, Greenville community. A lot of uh, or nonprofit uh, charitable organizations, uh, and we also provide some funding for clean water for the people of Honduras Great. and uh, some agricultural and educational products for Haiti. With the 16 years that this has been going on, you are obviously looking hard for those in need in the community. You mentioned many children. Mm -hmm. Switch as well, an organization with human trafficking. Um, but there are also some big companies that have decided you guys are very trustworthy of these funds too, right? Absolutely. Publix has been a great sponsor for us for years. Okay. Uh, Channel 7 cool. has been a sponsor for years. Uh, HEPCO, an organization, that, uh, a hazmat organization, provides our booms. They've been with us every year. We couldn't put, do the derby, really, without them. And Publix, my gosh. Publix, my, yeah, Publix has been a great sponsor for us. They provide us with a year's worth of groceries and a big gift bag. So we've got, we've got a lot of, uh, of people that have been with us and organizations been with us for a year. So let's we've, we've let's do this. that. And let's show everybody how you can also kind of join you, as others have for years. Ryan, head to the screen. There you go. 3,000 ducks so far. They would like 10,000. Easy to do. That duckrace.com. You can do it there. Also, check out this screen. You can see past videos. So easy to adopt a duck. Click on that screen and look what pops up. Easy for you. Okay, and Ed, I got to tell you real quick, we got to send them back when you can either win a million or that year worth of groceries. That's right. In Publix, right? That's right. So even if maybe the charities aren't your thing, Got a shot at that. You got a shot. We will have a winner of the groceries, and there's a potential that for that winner to also win a million dollars. 2.30 p.m. on July 11th. That's what you can look forward to. We'll send it back to you guys. Whew, a million bucks happening tonight. Listen to this. Join a seven sports director. Pete Yannity for another 7 News Conversation. We are having these live chats with you every night to catch up with you and your family during the COVID-19 crisis. Be sure to join Pete tonight again at 8 on our WSPA Facebook page. Coming up next on Carolina Morning Meantime, more than 150 cases of COVID-19 in South Carolina's prisons, and we could learn soon how those cases are being handled. That story next.